Hello there, I'm Sage Mike right here and this is another lesson. This circuit that you are taking a look at right here, as you can see, is a SIM card detection circuit of all mobile phones. And without just going on and explaining the block diagram, I really want us to take a look at what is in this diagram in a mobile PCB. Okay, so this SIM card detection circuit right here, if you check, you will see that we have the CPU, we have the PMU, we have the NFC IC, and we have the SIM card holder. And the videos that I've uploaded right here already, if you check the videos, you will see that I explain how the SIM card, how the CPU gets to detect the SIM card, the function of the PMU IC in the circuit, and the function of the NFC IC in the circuit. So looking at right here, you will see that we have the SIM card holder. So the SIM card holder is actually this. I don't know if you, are, you will be able to see this clearly this is the sim card holder so everything that you are seeing in this block diagram that i drew right here everything is here you understand okay so i want us to talk about the detect signal which is the interruption signal that i explained right here so this detect signal which is the interruption signal which is the signal that the cpu detects the sim that the sim card has been plugged into the phone through this line that you see right here is the interruption signal which is the signal that enables the cpu to be able to identify that a sim card has been plugged into the phone so i want us to take a look at this your block diagram right here in a mobile pcb so that when you are troubleshooting you will actually know what you are doing in a mobile pcb so this is our sim card holder and if you take a look you will see that we have a pin we have one little pin i don't know if this is blurry or you can actually see it we have one little pin right here so this little pin is what we call a detect an interruption line so this pin right here is actually what even though it's not connected to any of the main sim card pins but this little pin right here plays a big role in the phone detecting the sim card okay so why is it called a detect and interruption signal and how does this pin right here actually works if you take a look this is the shield that i removed from the sim card holder if you take a look right here you will see that it always has a little pin so this is the little pin let me push it so that you will see so you see this little pin right here this is actually what caused the interruption signal to bridge to the gnd so that the cpu will be able to know that uh, a sim card has been plugged into the phone and how does this happen the interruption line which is this the interruption line which is this pin right here has a 1.8 volt when the phone is on and functioning but when you plug in a sim card into the phone it's going to push this pin to bridge that 1.8 volt i'm talking about this pin right here when you connect your sim card into the phone is going to bridge that 1.8 volt this pin is going to bridge that 1.8 volt and will cause a short circuit so i think they did a lot of the circuit is uh, well protected so that the shortage that shot the 1.8 volt for the sim card to be able for the cb to be able to detect the phone is well protected that's why the sh little shorting in the interruption signal line do not cause the mobile phone any problem and that's how the cpu knows that okay a sim card has been plugged into the phone because there is always a bridge when you connect your sim card to this interruption line so again this interruption line that i explain if you don't know what i'm talking about you can check my other videos this interruption line that i explain right here this is actually the line and all these lines that you see right here they are here you might be expecting to see a lot of these pins but i tell you what these are the functioning these are the things that actually detect the scene into the phone okay so i'm such is mike right here and if you want to learn my complete mobile repairing course starting from the basic to the professional level of troubleshooting send me a message on whatsapp using the number on the screen and i'm going to give you more information about my course and with the course you will learn everything about mobile repairing starting from the basics to the schematic level circuit level of understanding every circuit and any problem and how you can troubleshoot any fault in a mobile pcb thank you follow me for more amazing videos